Hey guys, are you also wondering if voice technology is going to make it? Well, I went to the voice conference, the largest gathering of professionals, experts, thought leaders, movers and shakers on this planet and I brought you five insights I'm going to share with you right now. Number one, why is voice so important? I myself could not grasp it until I tried it out myself, but voice is super convenient, it's super fast, has a very low access barrier, and voice saves a lot of time. And the biggest, biggest argument for voice, it's hands-free and it's super emotional. And I personally believe we need to talk about the death of the keyboard. Why use a keyboard on your phone when you can set the alarm uh, for the next day also via voice quicker? I think we need to talk about the death of swiping because why should we swipe when we can do it with our voice? And from a strategic point of view, we should think about what does it mean for search. So I strongly believe we should at least think about if voice can mean the death of search. I think there's a huge difference in searching on a voice device than on a device with a screen like mobile phone, computer. Why? Because on voice you just get one recommendation, two recommendations, maybe three recommendations, but that's it when you search something or when you buy something. So the scrolling actually is uh, not there anymore. Let's discuss why it's so important for companies. When a customer says, Alexa, please buy more diapers, then actually the platform like Google, Amazon, Samsung is going to select the diaper for you. What that means for you as a diaper company, you have a brick problem and you are dependent on these platforms and they're going to ask for a small fee in order to ship your product for sure. Then a customer could ask, hey Alexa, please get me new Pampers. That's super cool because you were able to establish yourself as a brand and the customer buys in your product. So brand matters here. And the third one is Alexa, get me the cheapest diapers. And here is where price wins. As a consequence of this, I see two things. First, I think brand is going to be super important in the era of voice and also assistants that are using voice are going to be super, super important and all your voice skills should be helping the customer in a way. Number two, I saw some use cases there. Of course, listening to music is a traditional one. Listening to stories um, that are being read to you. Then um, there are some exciting sleep skills, skills that help you to fall asleep. I saw also some interesting health um, moves there, health skills. For example, you can educate your patients, you can educate um, for certain uh, diseases and conditions. You can actually also have reminders for people, maybe also the elderly um, um, or people with dementia to remind them, did they take the medicine, yes or no. You can do even diagnosis via voice and AI-driven bots and AI-driven programs there. I think voice in combination with other technologies has a tremendous impact on the health industry. Why are voice games so exciting? Because of the absence of the screen, you emerge more in the situation and voice transports a lot of emotion. And of course, you will see also the combination with screen sooner or later and especially also other IoT devices. Nevertheless, that's going to be exciting. I think we will also see skills for business. For example, the sales agents can say, Alexa, please send the contract to Prudential. This is way faster than opening a computer, writing email attachment. And I think um, we were going to see a lot of simple tasks being done by voice in combination with AI and other technology. A really cool voice skill is the Hippo voice skill from Hippo Insurance. Why? Because they just did not build a sales funnel or a claims management system, but they build a skill that simulates people being at home when you're not in order to prevent burglaries. And I think this is a very good why, because it shows that it's not a transformation, a transition of a boring, broken insurance process into a boring, broken digital insurance process, but it's actually something that helps the customer. And I think that's a very good example. Number three, I strongly believe we will see new jobs emerging. You could also see that the speakers at the conference, a lot from um, fine arts, music, um, language, linguistics, psychology. So jobs that were considered useless 10 years ago and hey guys, I'm, I'm in fine arts too. And, and now are super demanded and I think they will drive uh, this industry and they will gender, they will have um, some amazing careers in front of them. Number four, 
I think we will also see a lot of new business models on top of voice and voice skills. I don't know the business models yet. If, if I would know it, I would reserve my private island already. And I think we will see some new business models on top of it. Number five. What I take away from this conference, meetings, research, behind the scenes is that voice is about to take off. You already see a lot of companies investing in this space, especially service providers, agencies and tech companies that want to participate in the boom to come. We also see a lot of banks now in this field, testing, research and development and super many pharmaceutical companies. So that's going to be uh, exciting, I think. All in all, I think in the voice space, um, we are in a very, very early stage when it comes to the ecosystem, when it comes to the technology, when it comes to business models. I think um, we are in a situation where you can buy beachfront property to a very cheap price. That the opportunity is gigantic. Why? Because nobody has got figured that one out yet. So if you're out there, you're an insurance, a bank, a traditional company, small or mid-sized business, really think about how to define a voice strategy, invest in research and development. You don't need to found a whole department of 100 people, at least invest something in order to be here. Even if you were not participating in the uh, boom of the internet, the boom of the websites, boom of mobile internet, boom of social media, this is your chance to uh, participate at something really, really new and to get a high return on invest in the midterm.